No Limit Texas Hold'em is the Cadillac of poker. You don't happen to have 8,000 bucks on you. Oh, no, no, we don't use money in heaven. Comes in pretty handy down here, bub. Oh, you just want a million dollars! You're making a run at it, aren't you? Rolling up a stake and going to Vegas. All right, it is day two of playing dailies and one for one in cash so far, so we're gonna make it two for two today and make a deep run at it, so let's go. First break of the tournament right now, sitting with right around 25k, 24k, and it's been a little bit of a roller coaster thus far. First hand, lines 25.50, undergun limps, we have ace king, undergun plus one, we raise it up to 250. We get five colors, so <laughs> looking for a pretty good flop. We get one and one like 1.5k in the pot. We get one in ace flop is ace nine seven rainbow, so pretty good flop for us considering how multi way we are. Checks us, we bet 1k, about one two thirds pot here, and then the button folds the button, who puts in the raise to 3k. Not folding, I mean, uh, has, I mean, kind of a very poor to be raising on, but yeah, top top, and yeah, we're just not folding, so we put in the call, and uh, I think raising is pretty spewy, so I uh, lose calling, more than option, we call. Turn is offsuit 5, doesn't really change anything. We check, he bets 3,000 again. And we put in the call. Not much we can do, I don't think. And the river is a 3. And we check. Planning on calling mostly if he bets. He does, and actually just check behind. And tables ace queen. So just screen off the top pair, and we're up like 5k pretty early. Next level, 5,100, 20k effective. Another gun opens to 300. We have Jacks in middle position. Putting a three bet here to 1,000. Cut off cold calls and then another gun player calls as well. So three ways. Flop is pretty good for us. Flop is Jack 10 8 Rainbow. So flop top set. Kind of coordinated board, but no flush draw. Uh, continue for 2,000. Cut off makes the call and another gun calls as well. Turn is not the best card in the seven of clubs. So it brings in some straight draws. Back to a flush draw. We check, and the cutoff bet's 3,000, and I think it folds his back on us. We put in a call here, uh, just can have the best hand sometimes, a uh, decent amount of time. We're set, we're two pairs. Flush draws, yeah, the top size is pretty strong, I don't think we can fold it just yet. And then the river is the juicy club, so backdoor flush draw gets there, otherwise a brick. Check. Cut off bets is five and a half thousand here. So it's kind of a tough spot. You know, obviously we lose the straight, we lose the flushes, we beat two pairs, sets, um, top pair that he's spewing off like the other guy did. So, I mean, we're still really early, we're going to be still super deep. You know, we're not crippled if we call. Send it to a few, hand, a few different people, and uh, unless you have like a specific read or something, I'll win. Uh, tend to lead towards the call here, so that's what I do. Toss on the call, the on table is ace four of clubs, so driver the flush and lose that pot, which a bit unlucky there, but mm, what are you gonna do? On to the next hand. Uh, under the gun opens to 425, decent reg, opens pretty wide, so I don't think he just has to have like ace jack suited plus and you know jacks plus here. Thing to be open, uh, pretty wide range on the gun. There's one call, and then we have queen ten of clubs in middle position. We toss in the call and go three ways to flop. Flop is pretty good for us. Flop is ace of spades, do two of clubs, five of clubs. So flop, plus drop, and on a gun best seven fifty. 
There's a car. Definitely getting a good price on a flush draw now. And so we call as well. The turn is a 10 of diamonds, so we improve to second pair. And uh, this time the run again sizes up to 3 and 3.7k. And the other player folds is on us. Doesn't have too much behind. He only has about like 11k total or so behind. And so I think for a little while, you know, we, if he does have an ace, the 10 also gives us additional outs. Um, I'm not sure if he has already so much in this pot, how much full deck we actually have, but Flush Rush probably live, or Queen and 10 probably live, possibly have the best hands sometimes, and uh, so yeah, prepare for Flush Drop, we just stick in there, do all in, and he go ahead and makes the call, sees my hand, and says, oh, I need a four of clubs, and tables three of clubs, three six of clubs, so got shot straight draw, so as long as the river is not a four of clubs, we're good. The river is a seven of clubs, so we dodge one out of there, and then we're back up to around 24, 25k on first break. Can we keep at it? And that's up. So yeah, quite a few hands in just a few hours, not even, yeah, first few levels, quite a few hands, but yeah, so I'm doing well so far, and gonna keep at it. A few moments later. And we are out. That's it. Level 4. Uh, uh, open pocket aces under the gun to 1200 at 200, 400. Button is the only color. We see a flop of King 9 5. Rainbow. Freeze and flop for aces. So we bet. And we bet we continue for a two thirds pot. Villain calls. Turns to offsuit three. Shouldn't change anything. We continue for two thirds. Shutting up a river shove. Villain goes ahead, go ahead and reads it all in. All right. We call. We table aces. Villain tables. Pretty standard. King three offsuit. Nice, nice call. Pretty nice. Yeah, nice. <sighs> yeah, River does not pair the board in our favor, and we lose. And that's, that's the tournament out before late regions. Called a race with a uh, Yeah, so still a whopping $26 in profit in the 250 deep stack, but yeah, aces can't hold against King 3. What are you gonna do? Pretty good values in, in these dailies, you know? Calling with King 3 off. I mean, if you're, you're not gonna. I guess on the flop, you're not gonna fold, fold top pair when you flop top pair with King 3 off, but. I mean. Yeah, nice. Nice hand, buddy. So that's it. We're out. On to the next one.